do an interior for you. I did want to mention this is a replacement uh, windshield with Chatteline trim, new seal and all that. Um, ordered from Europe. Because Colorado is good about breaking windshields. Um, the buckets are uh, Tillet Racing. I guess they're B5 or something of that nature. Carbon FRP, Uber Caro Plaid upholstery that I sent over to the UK for them to do the seats in. Uh, did matching shift boot, e-brake boot, um, VAC Motorsports mounts. The passenger side is fixed. The driver hat does have a slider. Um, overall, just a really incredibly clean car small dash dash crack starting to form here that liner is in really nice shape it is just starting to peel a little bit in these areas Carpet's in really nice shape. Intech, back seat. There's a small tear here, which I never noticed until just now. Uh, not a very good pair, but not also not very visible. Those are OE E30 floor mats. All the door, or, uh, Speakers, radio have been removed. The AC condenser is still behind the dash, just been disconnected, and the pipes have been capped. OE radio delete, Euro clock. Speakers have been removed out of the back as well. Got the pop out windows. Carpet's in nice shape. Bimmer World pedal kit, replacement uh, knee panel, Intech wheel, 50th anniversary emblem, some little Japanese stickers and gadgets. Again, no rust on this thing. Super clean car. One of my favorite bits. I had to keep that. Cluster was just restored by uh, Bav Resto. I had him paint the needles red. Otherwise, oh, and the housing inside, matte black, polished the uh, the lens. Uh, this is a USB port, three D printed. Hickey, I forget the company that makes that. Has a booster delete with in cab uh, brake bias. It is a six speed ZF box from a ZHP E46. Everything, uh, everything works as it should. Got all your, your bits here. <sighs> The brake light does stay on now after Bavresto replaced the bulb that I pulled when we put in the big brake kit. We'll go to the engine bay.